What have we got? So I think five. I think. I was actually reacts now. Reacting to the Pokemon Direct that was five days ago, four days ago, from this video episode recording. So yeah, in this episode, um, this is for a short, short Sword Shield, as you know, on the fifth I was gone. So yeah, we, I'm finally reacting to it. Let's get it. Six, it's, what, 16 minutes long, let's get into it. Main boost volume. Welcome to Pokemon Direct. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Today, I would like to provide the latest news about the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games. To begin, please take a look at this video. Oh, please say those are the actual graphics of the game. These graphics look amazing. Like. Seriously? Yeah. The rival? Was it the rival I'm guessing? Maybe. Stumble! Okay, is she the professor? I want, it. I, want, I, want, I want the turtle. I want the turtle. My team. Right now. <laughs> so the black belt trainers look cool now. It's like a nice blue uniform. So, it was Gen 7 Pokemon this game, Gen 5 Pokemon, Gen 2, Gen 1, Gen 4, Gen 1, there's the raven bird thing. I won. Oh, my lock in the wall. There's a water bike? Grab that gym. Gym or nothing? What was that? Hold on, hold on. What was that? I'll spit the one here. What is that thing? What? I'm so confused. Please don't let all the gyms be like a stadium type thing. Please don't be stupid. Hello, I'm Masuda from Game Freak. 
Hi, I'm Omori from Game Freak. What did you think of the video? Today, we would like to deliver the latest news on Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield to all of you around the world, right here from Game Freak's offices where development is underway. You can take on the role of the main character, who resides in the Galar region. Galar region? How does I pronounce it? After choosing Grookey, Scorbunny, or Sobble as your first partner Pokemon, you will embark on an adventure to become the champion. Your journey will take you through vast and lush grasslands, towns in which you will find humans and Pokemon working together, and many other locations filled with rich personality. Pokemon battles are the most popular form of entertainment in the Gala region. Stadiums across the Gala region are frequently filled with cheering crowds that have gathered to witness battles between gym leaders and challengers. Oh, so basically all the gym stadiums now? Aww. The excitement of these battles is often broadcast on television in the Gala region as well. The most exciting part of visiting a new region is, of course, encountering Pokémon that you've never seen before. To tell you more about some of the Pokémon that reside in the Gala region, I'd like to hand it over to James, the art director on these games. Hey, Jamie! Hello, I'm James Turner from Game Freak. I worked as the art director for these games. There are a lot of never-before-seen Pokémon that await you in the Gala region, but allow me to introduce you to just a few of them. The first Pokémon I'd like to show you is Wooloo. This Pokémon's defining characteristic is its fluffy fur, which is treasured by weavers in a town in the Gala region who use it to craft popular specialty goods. This Pokémon here is Gossifleur, the flowering Gossifleur. Gossifleur favors places with clean air and water, and its pollen is said to have healing properties. This uh, next Pokemon is called Dreadnor. Dreadnor. I want it. The bite Pokemon. The sharp and jagged edges of its jaw allow it to bite off chunks of rock and iron. Its vicious nature makes it a difficult Pokemon to tame for all but the most experienced trainers. This Pokemon that can be seen flying steadily through the sky is called Corviknight. Corviknight. It puts its skills to use when working as a flying taxi, which will take the player steel. back to any town he or she has previously visited. As many of So HMs are gone. Still, nice. So agents were still gone, according to that, because it said to expect any time you visited. So yeah. If you already know, some Pokemon can evolve, changing their appearance and becoming stronger. Oh, I'll use evolution. Gossifleur is one of these Pokemon. When Gossifleur evolves, oh, it becomes Elder Goss. I was thinking that, that's the illusion of it. As you can see, there are now small seeds scattered across its fuzzy head. These seeds are said to promote growth in plants and can revitalize both people and Pokemon. That's all I can show you this time. There are lots more Pokemon living in the Gala region for you to discover. Of course, you can look forward to finding many Pokemon you're already familiar with. I can get Axew. I hope you're as excited as we are to encounter the amazing variety of Pokemon that inhabit the Gala region. Meeting lots of Pokemon is one of the thrills of the adventure. So, so I know I want the Brambo Raven guy and the turtle. Let me see. And Sobble. So, yeah. I'm all, I'm, so, yeah. Sounds good. I'll probably, I'll probably, I'll probably use some, like, non native, but like, can't axe you and so, so on and so forth. 
and where you will find the widest variety of Pokemon out of anywhere in the Galar region is in a place called the Wild Area. This is the National Park, uh, Safari Zone. This wild area stretches between cities and is filled with abundant nature as far as the eye can see. Different Pokemon can appear depending on where you are and what the weather is like, meaning there will be new discoveries for you each day. Steelix is in the game. Some of you may already have noticed, but while adventuring through this area, you have control over the camera, allowing you to better search for items and Pokemon. Search far and wide in the tall grass, in the skies above, and even in the lakes, for you never know what you might find. In certain locations in the Gala region, a new phenomenon can be triggered that makes a Pokemon giant in size and gives it incredible strength. This phenomenon is called Dynamaxing. Dynamax. Dynamaxing opens up new possibilities in the heated battles performed by trainers and their Pokemon. For more details, I would like to turn it over to Iwao, the planning director for the games. Hi, I'm Iwao from Game Freak and the planning director for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Let me tell you more about the new Dynamax feature, which will surely bring about all new strategies to Pokemon battles. Pokemon from the Gala region can Dynamax to not only become massive in size, but also boost their power. Because they make us kind of. All the moves they know turn into powerful max moves. Dynamaxing can be used once per battle. However, the Pokemon will revert to normal after three turns. So, you need to choose wisely when to trigger it. Mastering Dynamax will be key to becoming a full-fledged Pokemon trainer in these games. Remember that wild area we told you about? If you connect to other players, you'll find more ways to play there. One of these new multiplayer features is called Max Raid Battle. This is, oh, Troy would love that. Battle, in which four Pokemon trainers can join. So here. forces to challenge wild Dynamax Pokemon. So In Max Raid. Raid battles, the wild Dynamax Pokemon keeps its giant form for the entire battle. Not only that, it also has special powers that make it an extremely formidable opponent. Only one of these four players who have teamed up for the Max Raid battle will be able to Dynamax their Pokemon in each battle. So coordinating with your team will be crucial when taking on these powerful wild Pokemon. Okay. If you and your allies manage to emerge victorious, you will get a chance to capture the Pokemon in a truly dynamic catch sequence. Let's take Pokemon Gav raids. The Pokemon that you can take on in max raid battles also vary depending on where you are in the wild area and the state of the weather. Among these different Pokemon are some that can only be caught after you defeat them in max raid battles. So we hope trainers will join forces and test their skills against a variety of Pokemon. Max Raid Battles features strategic cooperative four-player gameplay against a single Pokemon, which is a first for the main series of Pokemon games. It's going to be a ton of fun to use your Nintendo Switch system's local wireless functionality to tackle these battles with friends in person and experience the excitement together. You can also connect with other players over the... See, look at that. Yeah, pay for it online. I'll switch. Internet to enjoy playing with other trainers from all around the globe. So I hope you'll try Max Raid battles with all sorts of other players. Who's that? Who's that? I like, I like the cape. Next, I would like to introduce some of the people you'll encounter on your adventure. This guy is the greatest trainer in the Galar region, and champion. also the current champion. Yep. His name is Leon. In a region where Pokemon battles are so widely enjoyed, his undefeated record in official matches is all the more incredible. His popularity is only enhanced by his shining personality, 
winning him the adoration of trainers across the region. It's no exaggeration to say that he is the most prominent trainer in all of Gala. The champion has a younger brother, who also happens to be one of your rivals. His name one. is Hop. Hop rivals. dreams to one day become champion, just like his elder brother, and he trains vigorously every day towards this goal. His journey through the Gala region begins on the same day as yours. On your journey, you and Hop will receive a great deal of support from these two characters. Professor Magnolia is the professor of the Gala region oh. and specializes in researching the Dynamax Magnolia phenomenon. Yep. Sonia is her granddaughter and also serves as her assistant. Their abundant wisdom and sound advice will surely come in handy throughout your adventure. The gym music. Next, I would like to talk about the Pokemon gyms in the Gala region. You and your rival will need to take on the Pokemon gyms throughout the region in order to achieve your goal of becoming champion. These gym stadiums are constructed in very special locations that allow for Pokemon to be Dynamaxed. The gym leaders also have extremely powerful Dynamax Pokemon on their teams, so you will need to counter them with some of your own. Battles between two Dynamax Pokemon are explosive and will cause the energy and excitement in the stadium to reach its peak. Let me introduce one of the gym leaders to you. This is the grass type expert, Milo. Milo. This gym leader is all about enjoying battles alongside his trustworthy Pokemon, and you will have to overcome his tenacious fighting style to continue your journey. Look forward to facing many more heated battles against gym leaders over the course of your adventure. We've shown off quite a bit today, but I have one more video I would like you to see. Please take a look. Evil team? No, oh, it's legendary, legendaries. Okay, not actual game footage. Oh. Oh. Is there a third one? Military? Is there a third legendary probably? The two Pokemon you saw in the video just now are in fact legendary Pokemon of the Gala region, called Zacian and Zamazenta. Look forward to discovering for yourself just what role Zacian and Zamazenta will play in the story. I hope you enjoyed today's Pokemon Direct. Of course, what we revealed today is just a small part of what you will find in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. There are many more Pokemon and interesting characters for you to discover in the Galar region. We're putting everything we've got here at Game Freak into making Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield a game that everyone around the world will enjoy. Okay. Please look forward to it. Thanks to all of our guests from Game Freak. Finally, I would like to announce the release date. Release date, release Pokemon date. Sword and November Pokemon 15th. Shield will be available on November 15th, 2019. Oh, those box arts, though. I'm going to take a... as a global simultaneous release and starting today you can pre-order a special double pack stay tuned for more information
I hope you will look forward to your new Pokemon. I have to see the thumbnail of it. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Will be available on November 15th, 15th. 2019 as a global simultaneous release. And starting today, you can pre order a special double pack. Stay tuned for more information. Double pack. I hope you will look forward to your new Pokemon adventure in the Galar region. Thank you for watching. That was really beautiful. <laughs> now, so I think the next one we get, the next thing we get about the teams, I think. So I don't know who this bad guy team is. Bad guy teams is. So yeah, this is be an interesting game. So yeah, if y'all enjoyed enjoy the episode. Leave a like, subscribe, and you. Shoot this video and see you next time. Bye bye.